your control surface isn't automatically detected, you just have to scan for control surfaces. From the Logic Pro 10 menu, select the Control Surfaces submenu, and then choose Setup. From the Setup menu, you can click the New button and choose Install. And then, find your control surface in the list. You can just double-click it or single-click it and then click Scan to proceed. If you don't see your control surface in the list, you can also search for any connected control surface. All we have to do is click the New menu and choose Scan All Models. This may take a little bit longer. And Logic is just telling us that the models in italics can't be scanned. And that leads us to our next point. If Logic doesn't find your control surface, you may have to set it up manually. The steps are the same, but instead of clicking Scan, click Add. I'm going to close this window, and now from the Logic Pro 10 menu, let's go to the Control Surfaces submenu and choose Preferences. And if you don't see this option, just first go to Preferences, Advanced Tools, and make sure that you have Control Surfaces enabled. So now I'm going to open those Preferences again. And one thing that I like to point out is this option for Touching Fader Selects Track. This can be really useful since the Logic Mixer will automatically select the track that you touch on your control surface, which makes it much easier to locate that channel in Logic's Mixer. Once you've gotten your control surface working, let's give it a try. On the lead vocal track in whichever project you're working on, let's set the automation mode to touch. Here you can see that the two different channels that I'm using for the parallel compression on the vocal are grouped. And because of this, both of them will be set to touch mode. I'm going to go ahead and close the mixer, and I'm going to open the automation view and start writing automation. I'm going to use the cycle range to start at the intro and go through the first chorus. And so now we've written our first automation pass. You may have noticed that I actually bumped up the fader at the end of certain lines. And typically, I want to get those quieter lines to be a little bit louder. Now, you can do that with compression as well. But without over-compressing them or compressing them to the point where everything is so flat, automation can help you get that same effect. The one thing that I do want to do a little bit better is get that last line, to me, a little bit louder. So I'm going to turn off the cycle range, locate the playhead a little closer to the end of this, and just patch that in. And since I'm in touch mode, all I have to do is play back and touch the fader where I want to change the automation. And that might have actually been a little bit too loud, but you get the idea. You can also automate other parameters like mute and pan, all in the same pass or in separate passes. I'm going to close this automation view, this time with the A key, and open the mixer back up with the X key. And I want to show you another extremely useful feature in Logic, and that is the automation quick access. This is really powerful because if you don't have a control surface, but perhaps you do have a MIDI keyboard that has a few sliders or knobs, you can even use those to write automation. Let's go to the Logic Pro 10 menu, and from Preferences, select Automation. At the bottom here, we can turn Automation Quick Access on. You'll see a pop-up menu asking you to assign a controller to be used for Automation Quick Access. Go ahead and click Assign, 
and then turn whichever knob or slider that you want to use all the way up and all the way down, and that will assign it. Once this is enabled, you can record whichever automation parameter is currently visible in the automation view by using this controller. Let's try it. I'm going to open up automation view again, and I'm going to move the slider on my control surface. And it's controlling not only logic, but it's also moving the faders on my Avid Artist Mix. Now, if I wanted to use the same slider to control a different automation parameter, like pan, I can just change the view, and that same slider will allow me to control whichever automation parameter is visible in this channel. A control surface is much faster than using a mouse, since you can control multiple parameters in one pass, and even multiple channels in one pass. And just like using a mouse, you can record your mix moves in real time and then play them back later. As with all creative decisions during a mix, it's important to follow your instincts and trust your ears. If you record a pass of automation and later decide you're not completely happy with it, you can always re-record your automation, or you can edit it.